grade 4 math, number 69, rename or regroup fractions and mixed numbers. A mixed number is a whole number with a fraction next to it. See? One and a half, three and two-fourths. These are mixed numbers, okay? So remember, the numerator's on the top and the denominator's on the bottom, all right? And then we have a whole number that is next to them. So let's see what we've got here. We can write a mixed number as a fraction to regroup it. Emma had one and a half cups of ice cream left in the container. If she wanted to give each friend half a cup of ice cream for dessert, does she have enough for three people? Well, she's got a container of ice cream with one and a half cups in it. Half a cup and a half a cup is a whole cup, right? And then we've got another half cup. Does she have enough for three people? Yeah, she does, doesn't she? A half plus a half plus a half makes three halves. Three over two. See? One plus one plus one is three. Two of the twos is equal to one whole. See? That would be one whole. And then she would have the little half cup left over, and that would be one and a half. So three halves is equal to one and a half. See that? All right. Let's see what we've got for subtraction. We've got two and two six. So if, let's say this was an, three orange candy bars. You have two whole ones and two six of one left. And you wanted to take away five six more from this amount. We could turn this into all sixths, and then we'd be able to take the five six away. Okay? This becomes split into sixths. See? We split these two whole ones into six. So that's six parts of six. That's one whole one. That's six parts of six. That's one whole one. And then we had our little two six. When we take the five six away, one, two, three, four, five, it leaves one whole one and one, two, three, three six. Here's how. When we divided these all up into sixes, we had 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 sixths. 14 little one six pieces. We took our 5 six away. 14 take away 5 is 9. And we had 9 sixths left over. Well, 6 six is one whole one. We take that away from there, and it leaves us with 3 six. And... 3 6 is half, right? See, that's half of the candy bar? So 3 6 is really a half, so we'd have 1 and a half. 9 6 take away th 3 6, pardon my writing, equals, three six, uh, equals 6 6, sorry. So that's one whole, see? So we took one whole one out of this 9 6, and it left this 3 6 left over. So we had one whole plus a half a one. See? Six, six, and then the three, six. It left one and a half. All right, so now, Tala made two cherry pies, and they were cut into eight slices each. Five of the slices were eaten out of one pan, so how much pie was left? Well, we can see that there's a whole one here, even though this represents eight eighths, eight slices out of eight, how many is left over here? One, two, three eighths. That's what she's got left over, see? And if we added the eight eighths to the three eighths, we'd get eleven eighths. Eight eighths is one whole one. Eight eighths take away, taken away from the eleven eighths, see? Because that was our total of all the pieces. If we took a whole one out of that, We'd have three-eighths left. One and three-eighths is left. And we can even see that it's one and three-eighths. Altogether, it's eleven-eighths. See? We can change a mixed number into an improper fraction. When the top, the numerator, is bigger than the denominator, it's called an improper fraction. Some people call it an umbrella fraction because the top is bigger than the bottom. See? It looks like an umbrella. 
but they're called improper fractions when the numerator is bigger than the denominator. All right, well, what if we needed to write the mixed number as a fraction? There's a very easy way to do this using times table. You say 1 times 8 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and that's 9 eighths. See? If you had a whole one, and you had one that just had one little eighth in it, you would have one and one eighth. If this was split into eighths, that would be eight eighths. And the little one eighth would be nine eighths. See? So what we did was we said this big one times the little eight plus the one up there. Eight plus one is nine, and then we put the denominator there. Let's try to see if we could do it with this one. 1 times 5 is 5, plus 3 is 6, 7, 8, 8 fifths. If we had a whole one, and then we had another one that was split into fifths, and we had three of them, we would have 5 fifths and the 3 fifths. See? That gives us 8 fifths. So, what we did was we said 1 times the 5 plus this 3. See? It's almost like going in a circle like that. 1 times the 5 plus the 3. Try it with this one. 2 times 3 plus 2. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 7, 8. And then we use the denominator. 8 thirds. Let's see if it works. We have two whole ones. And then we have another one that was split into thirds, and we had two of them. Okay? Because we're using thirds, this is three-thirds, and this is three-thirds, because they're whole ones, right? And this is two-thirds. So three and three is six, and two more is seven, eight. It's eight-thirds. See? So all we had to do was say two times three plus the two. Okay? And we got 8 thirds. What if you wanted to write the fraction as a mixed number and undo everything we just did? We would say how many 4's fit into the 5? 1. And how much is left over? 4 plus 1 is 5, so 1 is left over. And it already gave us the denominator we're using. See? I'm sorry. So it'd be 1 and 1 fourth. So, 4 fourths is a whole one, and 1 more fourth would be 5 fourths, and we'd have 1 and 1 fourth. See? Let's try it again. We have 4 thirds. How many times can 3 fit into 4? One time. All right? So that's the 3 thirds we took out of it. Okay? That's the whole one that we took out of it. That's that whole one right there. How much is left over? Well, 4 take away 3 is 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. So that means there's a little one-third left over. Okay? If we had this three-thirds and one more third, we would have four-thirds. See? It would be one and one-third. See? How about this one? This is going to be bigger than one. How many times can two fit into seven? How close can we get? Two times one is two. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. Two times four is eight. Eight is too big, so we have to go back to three. So we know there's three whole ones. There's a two twos really two halves. Okay, there's our three whole ones. And how much do we have left over? We have a little half left over. Two, four, six, seven over two. See? So we have a little half left over. Seven halves is equal to three and a half. So, all you have to do when you're turning a fraction into a mixed number is divide, okay? And find out how many are left over is the remainder. 
and then that's your fraction, and you already know the denomin what the denominator is going to be. When you're writing a mixed number as a fraction, go ahead and use pictures if you have to. It's okay, because you're just now starting to learn, so make some pictures. But know also that you can do a counterclockwise circle of the whole number times the denominator plus the numerator, and that's the new numerator, okay? You multiply the whole number times the denominator, you add the numerator, and all that becomes the brand new numerator. And then you just use the same denominator, okay? We'll go over this more. If you don't understand it, that's okay. I give you credit for watching videos to try to learn how to do math. That shows that you've got some character and you're trying to learn. Stick with me. We'll sort this all out and we'll keep talking about fractions. See you next video. Bye.